This is NAB Show Live. I'm Ryan Salazar, and today we're talking with somebody all the way in the Czech Republic, Mirko Nadelkovic, CSO at Sweetest. How you doing, sir? I'm great. How are you? Doing excellent. We love the excitement leading into the 2019 NAB show. It's quite exciting this year. So tell us about Sweetest, what you guys do, and how you got started. So Sweetest is uh, the only object-based test automation tool for living room devices. Um, and uh, we have built this solution out of our need. Uh, we came across uh, a problem five years ago when we had to test our apps on multiple devices in parallel, and we figured out that manual testing and visual checking is not efficient enough. So we have been looking for a, a commercial tool, but couldn't find anything and decided to build it ourselves. What are the biggest challenges when it comes to testing apps on multiple devices? When you compare the mobile to the living room device ecosystem, there is not only a huge device fragmentation, but also significant platform fragmentation. In mobile, there is iOS and Android, but on living room devices next to Apple TV and Android TV, you also have Roku, Xbox, Samsung Tizen, Orsay, LG WebOS, HBB TV, PlayStation, Metrological, and countless other HTML JavaScript platforms. So especially so I, oh, sorry. Especially testing on smart TVs is a challenge if you rely on image recognition. Testing your OTT apps on all these devices is almost impossible if you don't do it at a scale like Netflix and Amazon. Those two market leaders are actually tech companies and they have hundreds of QA people and thousands of devices in-house. Even big media companies like Disney and Time Warner don't have those resources and cannot build them up in reasonable time. And for all other companies, Suites can offer a proven cross-platform solution with the reusable test scripts, remote device farms, and collaboration features. So are some platforms more complicated than others? Yes, uh, they offer different control interfaces like IR, um, means infrared, Bluetooth, APIs. For those devices which are controlled through infrared, we offer our hardware, which is emitting infrared signals. For others, users just need to download our software on their PC. For Apple TV, a Mac with the Xcode installation is needed. Uh, the platforms are quite different, and for some platforms, we can provide more features than for others. So what are the biggest trends right now, and what impact will they have on app testing? So in the times of DevOps, continuous testing is becoming very common in OTT app development. More and more of our customers are running integration tests, for example, every 20 minutes on multiple devices in parallel. This way, they are alerted about possible problems early enough in the development process and can fix things before they become a big issue. All right, Mirko Nadelkovic, thank you so much for being with us. But before I let you go, uh, when you're not testing uh, at, in the evenings and whatnot in Las Vegas, uh, when you're kind of off, off to hours, are, is there a certain restaurant you like to hit or a cool club? Um, I, I just remember the Ra from the dot-com times around the uh, uh, year 2000 that uh, I haven't visited for for the past 20 years. <laughs> okay, well, now, now's your time. You should check out, uh, uh, gosh, what is it? Uh, Beauty in Essex is a really cool place. Tao and uh, uh, even Firefly is a great place to hang out. Mirko Nadelkovic, CSO at Sweetis. We'll see you at SU10821. That's SU10821 at the 2019 NAB Show. Thank you.